In this video, you will learn. What is pressure transmitter? And basic introduction about pressure transmitter and its manifolds. What do we need in order to verify pressure transmitter? Lastly, how to do verification of pressure transmitter? First of all, what is pressure transmitter? Pressure transmitter is device which is used to measure pressure in liquids, fluids or gases. Pressure transmitter has transducer that converts pressure into analog electrical signals. Basic introduction about pressure transmitter and its manifolds. All pressure transmitter has two manifolds, and one drain port for verification or calibration. Bottom manifold is isolate manifold and it remains open in normal operation. Top manifold is vent manifold, and it remains closed during normal operation. This middle port is drain port, and this port is being used during verification time. And all pressure transmitter has two 24 volt DC terminal ports. In other words, we need to use 24 volt DC power supply to turn on the device. What do we need in order to perform verification of pressure transmitter? First of all, we need pressure calibrator. Secondly, we need set of pneumatic fittings. Thirdly, we need pneumatic tubing. Last but not least, we also need set of different size wrench. How to do verification or calibration of pressure transmitter? Step 1. First of all, turn off the main pressure of pressure transmitter by turning isolation manifold in clockwise direction. Make sure that isolation manifold is fully closed. Step 2. Turn vent manifold anti-clockwise direction in order to open the vent manifold. Step 3. Now, remove the drain port by using wrench. And let it open for 4 to 5 seconds so that remaining bubbles will remove. In order to set the unit in pressure calibrator, go to configuration menu and use up and down button to select unit, and press OK to confirm selection. For example, if you want to set KPA unit, go to configuration menu and use down button until you see KPA. After this press OK to confirm selection. Now, connect one quarter inch connector to drain port of pressure transmitter. It depends on size of drain port. Sometimes, you may need half inch connector. Negative terminal of pressure transmitter gives 4 to 20 mA analog output. So, connect digital multimeter in series with pressure transmitter to measure analog output. In other words, put the multimeter in mA measuring mode, and connect red probe to minus terminal of pressure transmitter and connect black probe to negative terminal of 24 volt DC supply. So, everything is now set for verification of pressure transmitter. Now, you should have lower range value and upper range value in order to perform 5-point verification test. You can also get this value by connecting heart instrument in series with pressure transmitter. In this example, lower range value is 0 kPa, and upper range value is 250 kPa. Now, divide 250 into 4 equal parts. For example, 25% of 2050 is 62.50. So, put this value in applied pressure column just beside 25%. Calculate same value for 50% and 75% of 250 and put this value in applied pressure column. Put 4 to 20 mA analog output standard value in calculated mA column. For example, when there is zero percentage input, calculated analog output value is 4 mA. 
Write down this value in calculated milliampere column. When there is 25 percentage input, standard analog output value is 8 milliampere. And when there is 50 percentage input, standard analog output value is 12 milliampere. Standard analog output value is 60 milliampere for 75 percentage of input. And standard analog output value is 20 milliampere for 100 percentage of input. Now, apply 62.50 kp of pressure to transmitter by using pressure calibrator, and transmitter display will show you measured pressure value. Measured value should be near to 62 kPa. Plus or minus 5 kp a deviation from standard value should be acceptable. Also, note down measured milliampere value which is measured by digital voltmeter. Measured milliampere value should be nearer to 8 milliampere. Now, repeat same steps for 50% of input, 75% of input and 100% of input. For example, apply approximately 125 kp of pressure to transmitter, and note down measured pressure value from transmitter display. Measured pressure value should be nearest to 125 kPa. At the same time note down the value of milliampere from digital voltmeter. Measured milliampere value should be nearest to 12 milliampere. At the end, apply 250 kp of pressure to transmitter, and note down measured pressure value from transmitter display. Measured pressure value should be nearest to 250 kPa. Measured milliampere value should be nearest to 20 milliampere. 5 point verification is done. When you finished verification of pressure transmitter, turn the little knob of pressure calibrator in anticlockwise in order to release pressure. And remove the 1 quarter inch connector from vent port of pressure transmitter. Close the vent port of pressure transmitter by using original fitting of pressure transmitter. Now, put the manifolds back in its original position. Vent manifold should remain closed during normal operation. Isolation manifold should remain open during normal operation. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you really like this video. Please give me your valuable feedback in comment box.